Hi channel friends. I don't know if anybody is doing this negativity fast with me, but maybe somebody will latch on to it in the future. And if you're with me, I hope that today is a blessed day for you. It's very, very snowy outside. Um, in Denver, they're saying it's like an Arctic bomb that has hit the, the airport area. And it's very snowy out there at the moment. But I'm nice and warm and safe inside. Okay, continuing on with these negativity fast strategies. Yesterday, I said that we should write down 10 happy sounds. And the reason I got you to do that, and the reason I do it, is because it gets my focus off the negative. It gets me into a daily habit of thinking on positive things. Now today might seem counterintuitive in a way because I'm going to call this one shift focus. But in order to shift your focus, you need to know what your focus has been. You can't shift your focus from something to something else unless you know what you've been focusing on. And so many of us, most of us, in fact, tend to focus on things we're not even aware we're doing it. That wasn't great grammar, but you know what I mean. We tend to focus on things that we're not really aware of. So, point number one. Once again, grab yourself um, a pad and paper. And uh, you might like to pause that while you do that. Pause this while you do that and then come back. I've written a few things that you can write down. Bullet points. Firstly, the first heading is negative people in your life. And we have to deal with people on a daily basis, most of us. I deal with fewer people than 98% of people. But I still have to deal with people. So you might like to list <clears throat> and just use initials because you don't want to leave this list lying around for anybody to find. That's never a risk in my home. But list the negative people in your life, the, the people who are consistently negative. And some people may be only 50% negative or 20% negative. So those people that you list as being negative, uh, put a percentage sign next to it. I've got one or two people in my life who are like 85% negative. And you can turn that around without them even knowing it. You don't even have to say anything. So once you've listed the negative people, obviously you can decide who it is important on that list that you continue having a relationship with. You don't exactly have to cull these people from your life. But you can retrain them without them knowing. And the way to do that is to subtly but abruptly change the subject and turn it around to be positive. I call it the Pollyanna effect. I've always had a Pollyanna living within me where I'm glad, glad, glad about everything. And when somebody presents a negative situation in their own lives, I tend to say, oh, but oh, we can be glad that this didn't happen. Or isn't it wonderful that this didn't happen? And some people can get a little bit annoyed with Pollyanna. But then again, I've had a melancholy streak and I've had that downward pull most of my life to where I tend to end up in a melancholy negative state or tended to because that is all past now. Because I'm into new habits that I'm going to sustain for the rest of my life actively so. Because I have to be conscious of what I'm thinking about. We need to be very conscious of our thoughts and conscious of where our mind goes so that we can control where our mind goes and not get stuck into negative thoughts, negative habits, negative um, activities without saying, okay, this is not doing me any good. I'm going to cut that out or I'm going to change that. So with those people, you can decide what to do with them. 
Um, sometimes if you've got a really persistently negative person in your life, you will have to take matters into your own hand and just say, I'm sorry, I really know you mean well, but I'm fasting from negativity. You can say it that that plainly. I'm fasting from negativity because it just makes me sick or it just brings me down. I want to change my life. And the only way to change your life is to change you from the inside out. And I'm a Christian and I believe that that is all very, very scriptural, very, very biblical. Um, you speak into being those things that are not as though they were. And it all the change always starts with you, deep within your spirit. So you've got a little ne list, hopefully it's not a, not a big list of negative people, <clears throat> and then you can decide what to do with them, whether to, to um, draw away from them or, you know, some people we have to cut from our lives. It's just the way it is. Um, but I hope it's not going to be that drastic for you. Okay, make a little list of negative situations that are current, that are surrounding you at this time just list a few things that are the current most negative situations now I don't like to focus on negative but we have to know what the negatives are in our lives so that we can turn it around to positives and also once you've got these lists here you can pray over these lists and ask God to change Change your attitude to these people and to these situations and, and ask God to effect changes in the situations and the people. Um, God won't mess with free will, but he can, uh, the Bible says, he can change the heart of a king. So he can soften, soften people's hearts and you can be the most wonderful influence on these negative people by just being persistently and consistently positive so you've got your list of negative situations these are things that you just need to be aware of and then you can speak positive prayer or affirmations over these negative situations just being aware of them is very important otherwise we just get locked into um, and we start drowning under all these things that we're not even f focusing on or we're not fully aware that they are happening okay next a little list of current negative thoughts doubts and fears so you can write that list down once again prayer is very effective here ask God to Make you aware of the thoughts that you're having, the doubts that you have, whether it be a spiritual doubt or a doubt about somebody, doubts about whether you should um, change jobs, doubts about whether or not you should retain a friendship, and your fears. It's very healthy to write these down and acknowledge that they are there because then you can take them on head on. So what you do when you've got these lists is you replace these negative thoughts, doubts and fears uh, and your thoughts about the situations and your thoughts about the negative people. You replace these immediately with positive prayer. Even do a Jericho march. And I've mentioned Jericho marches in previous recordings that I've made. Um, I'm, I'm doing one every day of my life, I think, because there's various things I need to pray for and break down the, the Jericho walls of the bad things in my life that I don't want there. So you know how to pray over these things and ask God to change these situations, change your thoughts, um, change the negativity that is in these people that you deal with on a daily basis. So, no doubt God will give you some ideas as to how to take on this negativity in your life. And then what you do is visualize a complete change of focus from negativity to positivity. 
so that when you think about these people, situations, thoughts, doubts and fears, you switch them around immediately in your mind to positives. It's not easy to do, but once a habit has begun, it's easier to follow through. And this is going to be very habit forming, this positive thoughts, positive focus um, that we're going to be continuing on with for the next 28 days or 29 days because we began yesterday this 30 day negativity fast. You might even have some ideas of your own to add to those lists. So I'd like to close in prayer here. This one, this exercise is simply being aware of the negative people, things, influences, even TV shows. You might even have to, I think it's very, very wise if we do take stock of what we are taking in our eye gates and ear gates. What are we watching? Are we watching good, godly, wholesome, uplifting TV programs or videos on YouTube? Or are we saturating our souls with negativity or even something very dark? Whatever you take in is going to come spilling out of you in the form of words and feelings and thoughts, even dreams. Refuse to take in anything <clears throat> that is negative. Refuse to eat anything that is negative. And I'm talking about what we eat um, with our eyes and ears. Refuse to take in anything that is not wholesome. Because anything you take in that is not wholesome will putrefy the spirit. And that will cause you to get sucked into the downward pull. This downward spiral pull. It's like a whirlpool that whirlpool that is pulling you down into the ocean you have to swim and sometimes I feel like I'm just treading water but you have to keep moving you have to keep moving upward and it's never an easy deal in this world full of demons and negative people negative influences negative situations okay I'll close in prayer heavenly father I pray that you will Bless the listener. Bless all of us who are doing this 30-day negativity fast. I pray that you will open new positive doors as we close old negative doors and lock them behind us. Help us to see where we've been going wrong with our thoughts and words and deeds and help us to change those day by day in a positive way. And all to your glory. I thank you for prompting me to make this series. And I ask that you will be with me all the way through. Bless each listener. And help them to really put these changes into effect. And any new changes that they come up with. So that at the end of the 30 days, there will be great, great blessings, even miracles that are evident because you are in this you are in the mix here god bless each and every listener and i thank you for this in jesus mighty name amen